Dave, uh, as a coach, pre preseason opener, what are you looking for, and, and what did you like about what you saw today from your guys? Well, you're watching individuals and, and you know, how they perform, but it's one of those games when, uh, you know, we wanted to make sure we were a working group tonight, a lot of young players in there, and um, when the group works like that, you, you, we had solid goaltending, both guys played pretty well, but the work ethic throughout the group was, was really strong, and... Uh, so players end up looking good. You know, they come out of the game, and there's a lot of guys in that lineup that are pushing for jobs. And uh, go out and play a strong, hard-working game on the road it makes everybody look good. Some of the lines already had some pretty good chemistry. Is that by yeah. design or something that just flowed? Uh, a little bit, you know. But you, it, to me, it's more you got people that are that are pushing. They want a, they want a piece of the pie, you know. And the one line, uh, McLeod and Benson and Marodi played a lot together in the American League last year, so we put them together to see if they could. You know, get going. You're trying to put people where they can. You feel like that they're going to get the best chance to show you what they have. You know, so um, Shore and uh, and Tourists were solid tonight. Just good veteran players. Perlini played a pretty good uh, game with them. Uh, and Derek Ryan, that's exactly the kind of player he is. He's, he's a smart player. Him and Sevier are both. And we put the uh, young Boquit. In, in with them and uh, yeah, it was just it was just a solid you know we asked everybody just to work and compete hard and and uh, try to do some of the structure that we've been talking about in camp and the guys came out and played well. Uh, Derek Ryan, we asked him earlier, and that's kind of just like you said what he does. Like he does a lot of little things mm -hmm. during the course of a game that yep. they'll help turn turn a game over. It's yeah. uh, pretty exciting to have a utility uh, weapon. Like that. Yeah, he's a reliable guy. He just there's, he thinks the game well and plays in so many situations and. So it's uh, he'll he'll be uh, I think he'll be a nice asset for us. Now Evan Bouchard, everybody knows he's a talent, but when he's when he's in that you know top pairing role and playing a lot of minutes in a lot of situations, you can really see the elite level of his game. That yeah, he's his poise good. with the puck is really strong, and it's uh, you know we've talked about him a lot. He's he's come up the right way. He's he understands the game now. He understands the expectations for him, and now it's time for him to do it. So. Um, you know, he jumped in first exhibition game. You could tell he's a he's a very poised player. Really, really has an impact on the game. But he's a guy that ideally would want to play his whole career. He's played a ton of minutes. The way mm -hmm. he'll be breaking into the Oilers probably won't be that much. How do you balance that, or is it? Well, it's hard to say. He plays him. real well. Yeah. He forces you to play him. You know, so. But he's uh, he's still a young player. We're playing exhibition here. You know, so. Yeah. Um, but we need to get him lots of minutes. We'll get him lots of time in exhibition. But he's ready for that challenge. I mean, physically, mentally, he's ready for the challenge. So I'm excited for to see where he gets to this year. And, and Perlini, he's a. All teams need a big guy with who can move and have a, and has some skill. Would you see? Yeah. That? he's a guy I've known a long time. We drafted him in, in Arizona, and big, strong guy that uh, you know, kind of career went kind of a little sideways for him. He's looking to get back on on track. He's in great shape. He's a big guy, skates well, and he's got a, he's got a knack for scoring. So, um, you know, he capitalize on an opportunity there tonight so uh, we'll keep going I mean he's he's a guy that's going to be interesting to watch going through camp uh, we've got some guys like him that these exhibition games are going to be you know tell the tale where they get to so he didn't hurt himself tonight uh, first impression of Sevier uh, in game action Dave just solid solid veteran player you know exactly what we expected we uh, we didn't have many penalties tonight so we're looking to get him some penalty kill time but He's just, he's a solid guy. Just goes out, he knows how to play the game the right way. And, you know, he's a typical guy who goes out and he just fit in well in that game, worked hard and did the right things and ended up getting a win. Thank you. We'll now go to questions on Zoom and we'll start with Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Mark. We'll come back to Mark. We'll go to Jason Greger. Many young players who play that well in toys. We're, I know it's only preseason, but game one, were you surprised just how controlled your team was in both zones and almost a mistake-free game uh yeah i mean we we uh 
You know, our first, our first and foremost, our number one thought tonight, we want to come in and make sure that everybody competed at the level that you need to to, to be successful. And we, you know, the, right throughout the lineup, you saw that. Even the goaltenders, when they were challenged, they, they worked hard, played a lot of pucks outside the net. Um, but we, we come in, we, we just played a, a solid game. You know, we haven't uh, got real deep into the structure of how we want to play yet. We've had some practices on certain parts of it, but guys came in and, and uh, some of the things we were trying to do, they uh, did well, but ultimately it was about the work ethic tonight and just playing well together, trying to make each other look good so they uh, get in a game and play well. So it's, uh, it was a solid game all the way through. You mentioned you haven't gotten into that stuff, but you talked at the end of last year, you really want to improve as a forechecking team. Mm -hmm. You saw that tonight. Was that one of the areas that you you focused on in the first few days of camp? Yeah, we've uh, we've done some work on that. All, all kind of the uh, the structure of how we play without the puck was all has all been what's at the forefront the first few days of camp. So not a lot of, uh, you know, not a lot of special teams, not a lot of breakout stuff per se but a lot of a lot of uh how you play without the puck how you when you don't have it you got to find a way to get it back in all three zones so that's been the focus for the first few days hi dave uh between the the shoreline and the mcleod line you have six players there that uh, obviously played well tonight but there are guys that are battling for or, or seem to be battling for for jobs at the bottom of the lineup in a game like this can you differentiate the quality of their performances? Well, when you win and play a solid game, everybody looks good. But then you know, we'll go back and watch the tape and see what uh, see what everybody was doing individually. But for the most part, guys, you know, they played solid. They played solid. And that's, uh, that's what you're hoping for. You know, that's one thing I talked about before the game is when you have so many players that are trying to trying to take the next step or trying to impress or trying to trying to grab a job, uh, the one way you can do that is everybody play well together and then everybody looks good. When you win, everybody, you come out of the game feeling like everybody looks good. Now, as you start digging into it a little harder, you get into some of the details of the game that you know, watch on video and we'll, we'll continue to kind of monitor that. But, um, you know, it's we've got five games this week, so a lot of those players are going to get probably minimum four of the five. So, uh, so... You know, we'll see how the week goes on here. Is this almost like the opposite of, of you know, wanting to burn the tape when you have a terrible game? You know, when you, you can either watch, you know what I mean? Like you watch nah, these. It's, er it's early. You, don't yeah. get so, don't get too excited here. It's early. It's early. It's an exhibition game. Of course. No, I just meant in, in terms of trying to evaluate their performances when everyone looks good and it's kind of hard to, to kind of, you know, evaluate the, the quality of the play between the you, you know what? When those you have those games that you want to burn the tape, there's a few guys that play well on those too. And the ones where you think it's a masterpiece, you start digging into it a little harder, and there's probably a few uh, hiccups in there. So it's uh, probably a little bit both ways.